Welcome, everybody, to Radicalized Truth Survives, episode 111, Vigilantes, Inc., with Greg Pallast. Greg Pallast is known for his investigative reports in The Guardian and BBC and best-selling films like The Best Democracy Money Can Buy. Today, we're going to be talking about his latest film, Vigilantes, Inc., America's new voter suppression hitmen. This film is narrated by Rosario Dawson, it's produced by Martin Sheen, and Leonardo DiCaprio is making it available for you to watch it for free at saveyourvote.org. Have a listen to our interview with Greg on why this film is so important and why we need you please to share it with your networks and for everybody to check their voter registration. Let's go. You're telling me 2000, 600 miles away, two days for an election, that if I want to vote, all I have to do is show up and prove as an American citizen that I have the right to vote again. Is this an attempt to remove a lot of Democrats, black people from voting to win the election? I am far from that, sir. And you have crossed the line. And today to come out and not be able to vote and no one can give you an explanation, like it's extremely emotional and it bothers me. It bothers me to my core. Greg Pallast, welcome to Radicalized Pod. We are so grateful that you took time to be with us. Both High Fidelity and I have watched the film. We've been sharing it with our networks. And if you can just tell our viewers, why make this film now? Why release it now? Why is it so important that everybody needs to see it now? Are you kidding? <laughs> we have, okay, four years ago, we had 88 vigilante vo- uh, vigilantes personally challenged 180,000 voters in Georgia. We've now go from 88, are you ready for this? 2024, 40,000 vigilantes have signed up to challenge their neighbors' votes. Most, and overwhelmingly, is voters of color. This is a film, so I've done a film now called Vigilantes, Inc., America's New Vote Suppression Hitman. It's a warning film. It's also an entertaining film. So you bring your popcorn, you know, and then spread the word around. It is, uh, and you can go, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, with some help from uh, Jamie Foxx, has released, uh, has sponsored and released a new website called saveyourvote.org. Not save um, Greg's vote or uh, anyone's vote. It's save your vote so save your vote.org and you can uh you can stream for free thank you leonardo stream for free this film about the latest most dangerous ugly awful jim crow tactic to knock off voters there were 88 vigilantes in 2020 and now 40,000 vigilantes now what does that mean i can say You know, um, sorry, Barack Obama, you don't actually live in Georgetown, so you can't vote in, you can't vote here now for the president. I, as this is not the government, this is a brand new thing which came out of Georgia in which individuals who are not government, not involved with the government, not FBI, nothing, who can say, don't count this person's vote. And if you think it's nothing, watch this film, Vigilantes, Inc., America's new vote suppression hitmen. What it tells you, you'll see on the camera. For example, I confront a woman in Georgia. I get into her house. I'm going undercover, something you can't see on American media, but I do. You know, if you don't know Greg Palestine, 
I work for BBC television out of Britain, the guardian rolling stone, but American news media will not let you go undercover. I go undercover. So I go undercover and, and I meet this woman who is a running for vice chairman of the Republican party works for Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald Trump. She personally challenged 32,000 voters right to vote. Now, how does one person challenge 32,000 voters? She got a list from a right-wing group out of Texas called Truth Vote. She got this list of 32,000 voters, and she literally sent in an email to her county clerk to block 32,000 of her neighbors in an Atlanta uh, suburb from voting. So you will see me I can in, in the film Vigilantes Inc. I go into your house, you know, very this this really antebellum mansion with the columns. Uh, it looks like it's gone with the wind. She's dressed in Nancy Reagan red uh, dress with high heels, very elegant. And I show her a picture of, of a woman named Tamara Horn. I say, do you know Miss Horn? No, I've never met her. Did you ever call her? No, I've never called her. Did you ever meet her at or look at, go to her home? No, I've never gone to her home. I said, but you challenged her vote. You challenged her right to vote. You challenged 30, her and 32,000 of your neighbors, almost all of them African-Americans. You challenged their right to vote. She says, well, I can't call 32,000 people. How do I call 32,000 people? The, yeah, but you, you couldn't call 32,000 people, but you challenged their right to vote. And you'll see in the film, Vigilantes, Inc., she then, and I remind her that this, according to the NAACP, she has violated the Ku Klux Klan Act of 1871. Her answer is, well, I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. What? She challenged 32,000, this Canadian challenged 32,000 voters in Georgia. And then she said, get out. And I wasn't going to argue with her because next to her front door was a loaded AR-15. She had ammo up to the ceiling, automatic weapons all over the place. So I wasn't going to argue with her, though I did ask her if this was her legal voting address. And she started swearing at me. You'll see in the in the film, she starts using language that I cannot use on radio. And I didn't use, I didn't quote all of her language because I didn't want to lose my PG rating. But I don't, so this is, these are the people <laughs> who are challenging black voters there's another guy challenging black voters, and you'll see him. It looks actually funny. It's tragic, but it's funny. There's a guy who actually dresses like a vigilante. like He dresses up like Doc Holliday with a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and he has a holster with a six-gun in it. With you know, like, like he really thinks he's Doc Holliday from the OK Corral. And um, he made a big point that the gun was loaded. And I'm interviewing him. It's a little bit nervous because now I'm going to jump him. And I say, this guy challenged 4,000 voters, mostly African-American soldiers out of Fort Benning, Georgia. And one of the soldiers, he made one mistake because one of the soldiers that he challenged was Major Gamaliel Turner, 70 years old, career military, one of America's experts on what's called warfare of the future. And Major Turner didn't get his absentee ballot because he was absentee ballot. So he calls the county clerk. It's a couple days before the election. He's assigned. He's from Fort Benning. He has a house there in Columbus, Georgia, beautiful home. And he has, and, and he says, where's my absentee ballot? And they said, well, Mr. Turner, you've been challenged. He says, what does that mean? You've been challenged? So what do I do? They said, no problem. Just come into our office and prove you're a citizen and, and give us your proof of address and we'll, we'll count your ballot. We'll give you a ballot. And he said, you're telling me two days before an election that all I'm 2,600 miles away and all I have to do is come in and prove that I'm a citizen again and the reason why he said again is this is African-American officer with the expert for the Pentagon. His father, he remembers the Jim Crow era because he's seven years old when he couldn't, when his parents could not vote. His father was the co-founder of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference with Martin Luther King. 
So they picked on the wrong guy. So he said, so he actually arranged for a big Washington voting rights lawyer to fly to Georgia, go to federal court, Mark Elias, who's, by the way, right now, Kamala Harris's voting rights expert. That's brand new for the Democratic Party. I got to tell you, they don't usually care about vote suppression. So Kamala Harris does. She hired this guy. So he flew down to Georgia, went to federal court to get Major Turner's vote counted. Then Major Turner had to fly 5,000 miles round trip on a civil action to follow up. Here's the problem. The 4,000 other voters who were challenged, mostly African-American soldiers, never got their vote back. 4,000 voters. And let me tell you, Trump only lost Georgia by 12,000 votes, a little less. If they'd been more successful, that woman with the 32,000 votes that she challenged, if her challenges had gone through, I stopped it because the voting, uh, because the elections, some of the elections board's officials had seen my film and they weren't going to allow this challenge. This guy had to fly 5,000 miles around a trip. He also came 5,000 miles around a trip to do something else. You'll see in the film. Remember I told you about the vigilante with the six guns and he thinks he's Doc Holliday. So I said, do you know who's home here? You're, you know, he's doing his whole Doc Holliday shtick and we're filming him. I said, do you know who's home you're in? He said, no. I said, meet your host. And out of the kitchen comes Major Gamaliel Turner, this African-American officer of stature. Yeah. And he sits down right next to the vigilante who blocks his vote. I said, do you know that this is, well, meet Major Gamaliel Turner. You block 4,000 voters, including the major. You blocked his vote. Do you want to apologize to him? And the guy wouldn't apologize. But it's a hell of a scene. It's a hell of a scene. And actually, Major Turner is very nervous because the guy had a loaded gun. And you'll see a, a an old gun in a Bible right there. And he thought, if this guy starts shooting... I'm going to have to grab that gun and I don't know if it will fire. Uh, so, I mean, you're talking about, and you know, we're talking about dangerous situations and people wonder how I do it. In fact, our local camera crew literally fled for their life. They, and I don't blame them, Yeah. but thank God I had my co-producer, Zach Roberts, Zach D Roberts, a famous internationally renowned uh, investigative photo, photo journalist, but he's had guns in his face while he's filming and he continued to film despite the guns and the threats. So you'll see this in the film. Yeah. Vigilantes Inc. America's votes, new vote suppression hitmen. And um, it's entertaining, by the way. I mean, I know you've seen the film. It's entertaining. It's it's a movie movie. You can bring your popcorn. This is not a one of those PBS white guys in front of bookcases. <laughs> um, uh, documentaries even though i'm a, right now i must admit i'm a white guy in front of a bookcase so apologies we don't yeah, have hold on a second right? <laughs> all we have is these confrontations i even jumped the governor of georgia i i hunt down his campaign bus and he was at this pig roast in uh in noonan georgia and i i jump him and i say okay governor i said okay are you knocking off black voters so you can win this race and he was trying to ignore me and why do i have to sue you to get the names of the black voters you you've purged from the voter rolls uh, because he was um he'd actually he, he was guy in charge of the voting he was secretary of state when he was running for governor against stacy abrams and highly unethical even the wall street journal said it was un- so i i confront this guy by the way the governor had me arrested detained after i asked him these questions because he claimed that the that the guy who owned the pig roast restaurant where he was at complained that I was trespassing. Then the owner came out and said, complaining about this guy, I was the first reporter ever to ask the governor a real question. So they had to let me go. <laughs> wow. Greg, so, thank but you. But you'll see this all on camera. Right. It's a fun film. It's an entertaining film. It's also a heartbreaking film. Yes. But you can see it. Thank you, Leonardo DiCaprio. You will see it for no cost to you. Stream it at saveyourvote.org. And why do we call it saveyourvote.org, not just Vigilantes, Inc., watch the movie? The answer is 
because we also have on there a place where you can check your registration. Please, please, please check your registration. The second is gives you all kinds of advice on how to fight the vigilantes and how to avoid being challenged. And, and it also gives you the number of, of the flying teams of lawyers who will help you on election day or if you go in to vote early, which I recommend, if you have any problems, they will help you out. So go to that site. It's going to save your vote. And you can also stream the movie for free. Jamie Foxx said you have to see this movie. It's powerful. It's a great, great movie. That's a quote from Jamie Foxx. It's entertaining. It's funny. Uh, people laugh out loud and then cry out loud in this film. So Vigilantes, Inc., you can get it at saveyourvote.org. Saveyourvote.org, because I want you to save your vote. Thank you, Greg, for that incredible introduction. It's a brilliant film. It's a beautifully made film. It is an example of incredible investigative journalism. You also, uh, it, it's not that you just find uh, people who were purged. You literally show in your investigation how they are targeting people of color. You show how it's done. And I think it's very important that you also peel back the myths about Brian Kemp and you actually show the history of him. Can you speak on that just a bit? Because I think yes. it's okay. Component. HBO just put out a film called uh, How They Stopped the Steal or something, which is praising Brian Kemp for stopping this, th for not giving in to Trump's demand that he find 12,000 votes to make him president and win Georgia. Brian Kemp is to the right of Donald Trump. He is the most vicious vote suppressor he was secretary of state in charge of voting. I've never seen a more racist, vicious vote suppressor. The only reason he did not go along with Donald Trump, may I remind you that Trump has been indicted for the felony crime of racketeering because of his attempt to overturn the election in Georgia. Now, everyone knows that if he becomes president, he'll pardon himself. If he gets convicted in a Georgia court, there's no judge in the land that's going to take a sitting president of the United States and put him in prison. So Trump is off the hook. The only reason that Brian Kemp, the Republican ultra right wing um, governor of Georgia, did not go along with Trump's demand to overturn the vote in Georgia is that he didn't want to go to prison. It's that simple. He did not want to go to prison because Trump Damn. was indicted for this felony crime. He'll get off the hook, but the governor won't. The, the governor of Illinois spent several years in jail. There's a lot of governors who've been, who, there's governors right now. I can name five of them who are in prison. So the governor of Georgia did not want to go to prison for Donald Trump. That's not heroic. That's wow. just a guy saving his own ass. Right. So let's not call this guy heroic. He isn't. And the Secretary of State is another right-wing Republican toady who came, who was a pusher of the big lie. Pushed the big lie. He said thousands of people were voting twice. He did not find or convict one. He just held a press conference. The guy is a vicious, racist vote, a, a voting chief in Georgia. But he was not going to go to prison for Donald Trump. He had, there were 29 calls into the Secretary of State office. He only recorded the last one because he wanted to have evidence that he wasn't involved in the conspiracy. But I want to know what those other 28 calls were about. And I bet he was deep involved, deep involved in the conspiracy to overturn this election. But he didn't want to go to prison. So he recorded one call, which is, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to overturn the vote. Thank you. That's not heroism. That's cowardice because you didn't because you're willing to go along until it meant jail time. Wow. Now you have to watch this film. Like I say, it's hard it's very funny because when you see this guy dressed up like Doc Holliday, when you see this crazy woman throw me out of her house, it's actually very funny. But at the time it wasn't too funny because right. she had automatic weapons and my local camera crew, and I'm not kidding you literally fled out of her house. They fled for their lives. They were, it was an African-American crew and they weren't going to stay there with someone with automatic weapons who's threatening right. me. So they ran for their lives. I had my great um, uh, uh, co-producer and cameraman, Zach Roberts. He's famous for his photos of 
of Charlottesville and the Tiki Torch Mark. His photos are on the cover of the New York Times magazine. And he knows he kept shooting despite the automatic weapons and the threats. And so we got this footage. When you see it, it's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but because no one actually got shot. Right. Uh, it could have gone real, real bad. Uh, so go so go to saveyourvote.org to Leonardo DiCaprio's site that he set up and uh, check your registration, get the information on how to save your vote and watch the film. Then yes. Take the link for the film. Send that saveyourvote.org <laughs> out to your activist friends, your inactivist friends, and especially <laughs> your, un your, your crazy uncle in uh, Iowa who thinks that Donald Trump won the last election you straighten them out this will be a lot of fun and uh oh my gosh go save your vote dot org co-sign on that high fidelity uh, you got a question yes so <clears throat> i turned the movie on and uh you know just the first few minutes are kind of a punch in the face because you have these <laughs> yeah. these two southern gentlemen uh talking about how, you know, the Confederacy is their history and how they will rise again. And, um, you know, I, I've, my family's been in the Midwest for a couple hundred years now. Um, we, you know, we have people who fought in the Civil War and died for the North, right? We, we died to bring the Union together. How, how is it that these people can say, yes, this thing that killed, you know, however many people died in the Civil 600, War. 600,000. 600,000, thank you. How, how can they say this This was a good thing? This is something we cherish and we remember. I mean, what? it's not just oh, the racism. it's worse than that. Because I got to tell you, those two guys, you'll see at the front of the film, you'll see this woman throw me out of her house. Then you'll see this these guys who are doing a Confederate battle reenactment. The South won one got destroyed by general sherman uh during the civil war atlanta and the and the, and georgia and but the the georgians won once the the confederacy the slaveholders won one single battle so they're reenact so i'm there filming the reenactment of their battle their great moment when they when they and you see like all these people enacting union soldiers and they all die uh, and these guys are loving it. These guys are reenacting the South will rise again. But I, here's the danger. One thing that they also told me, we have, we've already picked out our places on the roofs of tall buildings on Peachtree Street in Atlanta. They're literally ready to gun down people. And in Atlanta, that means gunning down black people. They literally told me that. It's hard to get on camera because their accents are so extreme that we literally were thinking about putting in subtitles, but they are ready to gun down people in it on Peachtree street in Atlanta. This is dangerous, dangerous yeah. stuff. And you'll see in our film. So you have this system. Here's the deal. For the first time since 1946, you have self appointed vigilante vote hunters. They have the right in Georgia and 43 other States to challenge another voter's right to vote. So I can say, Heidi Kuda, I don't care. You don't really live where you live. You can't vote. This is not the government. This is not the FBI. This is not anything. This is our individual. And you, the only way you can save your vote is re-registering on the spot. I tell people to do that. The other is you literally have to go into a the county clerk's office and prove you're a citizen and prove your address. And dig this. We went from 88, as you'll see in, in Vigilantes, Inc., America's New Vote Suppression Hitmen. You'll see in the film that we've gone from 88 vigilante vote challengers in Georgia in 2020 to 40,000 vigilantes who signed up for this right-wing group's list to challenge other voters. And if you think they haven't, guess what? As of five weeks ago, they challenged... Eight, they've already challenged 851,000 voters, and the word, and I got the message yesterday, they've now challenged more than a million voters in America. Yeah. A million voters in America, 
overwhelmingly voters of color have been challenged. And you know what? 95% of them have no idea that their vote has been challenged. So that's another reason to go to SaveYourVote.org because I want you right now, no <laughs> excuses, pass this around, check <laughs> your registration. And why? Oh, I've been voting in the same place for 20 years. There's no problem. Come on. You yeah. don't know what's going on in America. Right. I was in the Atlanta voting station. I was uh, filming in the Atlanta voting station. You'll see this in the film where a 92-year-old woman in a walker was thrown out of the voting station into a storm in Atlanta. She was thrown out of the voting station. They said, you can't vote here. She says, I've been voting for 50 years at this station. She was purged from the voter rolls, thrown out into the storm. I interviewed her and her granddaughter, who was hysterical in tears. You'll see this in the film, said, She's been going into the same place for 50 years. They said that she doesn't live in Atlanta anymore. I went to her house down the street from the polling station. And there on the wall was a picture of her at her dining room table in that house with her cousin, Martin Luther King. She'd been voting at the same place in Atlanta since her cousin was murdered. This is Martin Luther King's cousin. If they threw her out of the voting station, they can throw you out, buddy. So you check your registration right now. You go to saveyourvote.org. You click the buttons to check your registration. You click the button to download the film. You click the button that will give you the phone numbers you need if you have been challenged and you're in trouble and you got to save your vote. So saveyourvote.org. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. I just spoke with the Reverend Jesse Jackson this morning. He actually told President Biden and Kamala Harris about this film and said, you got to watch this. you got to do something about these vigilante voters. And I will say, for the first time in the Democratic Party history, they actually hired the lawyer who has said that vigilante voting is the number one threat to the 2024 election. I'm not partisan. I'm not trying to elect Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. You choose. Yeah. But my the whole purpose of this film and saveyourvote.org is to make sure that the voters, not the vigilantes, choose your next president and right. Senate. That's why you got to go to saveyourvote.org, check your registration, get the numbers, get the information. I want you to do that because the reason they're stealing your vote is that it's valuable. If it weren't worth anything, they wouldn't bother. They know it's valuable. Please go to SaveYourVote.org and watch the film Vigilantes, Inc. It's entertaining. It's funny. It's tragic. And you'll burst into tears a couple points. People yeah. burst into tears watching the film. Yeah. But they also laugh out loud. It's a real movie. Grab the popcorn. Watch it. <laughs> send the link to your friends, SaveYourVote.org. Have a watch party because this is how we warn people. I did a film in 2016 called The Best Democracy Money Can Buy attacking one of the new Jim Crow efforts called interstate cross-check. You know that we beat it? After the movie came out, I got the ACLU to file lawsuits. I got people involved in campaigning. And we defeated this Jim Crow system, which in 2016 knocked off 1.1 million votes. By the way, Hillary Clinton, if they didn't use this trick, Hillary Clinton would have been president. Mm -hmm. This is no joke. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I'm for Hillary Clinton or against Trump. I'm a reporter. I'm nonpartisan. I'm just telling you that I think that the voters, not Jim Crow, should pick your president. Greg, uh, I know we're out of time. I want to thank you so much for this incredible interview. I just, on a personal note, we learned that half a million voters got purged in Oklahoma this week. And we also know. I was in Oklahoma, by the way. Yeah. So I know Greg, all about that. Well, by the way, most of the people purged are American natives from the tribes. That's the most of the people that have been purged. Thank you for letting us know that I didn't know that. What I want to say as a personal thank you is you did more in Vigilantes, Inc. to show how detrimental 2000 Mules was and what bullshit it was. And I want to thank you personally for that, because I think that um, it's so important to know that 
when you say that that our vote has value, that has so much value that extremists make films to try to twist people's minds away from reality. That's right. If people don't know what 2000 Mules is, you'll find out in my film. That's 2000 right. Mules is created by this right wing group. They're the ones that are that are organizing the vigilante challenges. Their film and they're completely Trump. They're completely connected to Trump. Trump issued their film 2000 Mules. It was premiered at Mar-a-Lago, hosted by Donald Trump. It is all this bullshit, as you say, about black men stuffing drop boxes. And we rip it apart. But it's dangerous. 10 million people have seen that film. So to counter it, we need 10 million people to see Vigilante. That's exactly Inc. right. That's, that's, that's exactly and if what we I'm don't saying. Do that, that's right. Come on, High Fidelity. going to win. Come on, saveyourvote.org, everybody. Share Vigilante Zinc with your network. And I am so grateful that you took time to be with us here today. Any final word, High Fidelity? I just, uh, <clears throat> Vigilante's Inc. is, uh, it's an interesting title because it seems like there's an organized network criminal conspiracy attempting to take over our country. So I'm all for your film, man. And yeah. I should say that the title Vigilante's Inc., just so you know, that in 1946, the Ku Klux Klan had the same plan as the as Trump and and his uh, 2000 Mules crew. They had a plan to knock off all the black voters of Georgia and they succeeded and elected their own. The Ku Klux Klan leader, Eugene Talmadge, as governor of Georgia. But you know what? In 1946, Harry Truman said that's illegal. And they were, and the FBI was about to indict Governor Challenge, Governor uh, Talmadge, for challenging all these black voters. And uh, but he uh, had an accident. He uh, had a collision with a bottle of bourbon, drank himself to death just before the indictment <laughs> came down. And you'll see this in the film. Yeah. But Vigilantes Inc. is the name that the Ku Klux Klan incorporated under. So Vigilantes Inc. is actually the name of the the corporate name of the Ku Klux Klan. And Trump has literally revived the Klan plan for 2024. So you better learn about this. I mean, the New York Times had a little article, but they, they just talked about some anecdotal stuff. If you want to get the real story, go to saveyourvote.org, pass it around, and let's protect our, you know, save your vote. So yeah. saveyourvote.org. Thank you. Thank you so much, Greg Thank Pallas. You, Thank you for being with, with us this morning. It means so much to us. Thank you very much. No grass in Georgia. Okay, boys, where are we from? Georgia! Georgia! I'm, I'm Greg. Where are you I'm, from? I'm I'm from I'm from L.A. I'm L.A. From, I hate to say You're it. You're from Lower Alabama. That's what we call L.A. around here. I'm going to L.A. <laughs> and so, why do you come out? Just to support the Confederacy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Support our history. And so, what do you say? Our history. Do you see yourself as American history or Confederate history? Confederate history. Yeah, Confederate history. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you can't accept the loss. It was 150 years ago. <laughs> when are you guys going to give up? Well, we're never, never. going to give up. <laughs> we'll rise again. <laughs> when? Next Thursday? Yeah, yeah, they did. They rose yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what is this again? The Georgia Secession flag. It's the Georgia Secession, Secession flag. flag. So this is Georgia's own state flag. And some people called it the Georgia Republic flag because Georgia was an independent republic for 26 days before they joined the Confederacy. Uh, is this should be your future flag? That's what that man over there said. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I agree with him. Uh -huh. I agree with him. The way things is going, we're gonna have to do something. So is it time to? Uh, I think it's time. Rebel? To do it's again? time to do something. It's time to do something.